I'm gonna be installing some kerf lining on this modified F-style octave mandolin. I've already done the backboard side. I'm doing the soundboard side now. But I've made the kerf lining. I like to use materials I have available. Um, I just figure it's a good way to reduce waste um, and it saves the expense of having to buy it. And then I, I also like the fact that you can make kerf lining that kind of matches the flow and the energy of the build that you're working on. So to me, the Sitka Spruce is the right type of material for the kerf lining and I think it really complements the color tones of this Clara Walnut. So that's why I chose this. Other types of materials I use for kerf lining, a little side tangent, um, mahogany, um, you could use poplar, anything that's kind of light. You don't want any heavy or dense woods. So different spruces, um, redwood. So um, again, I try to look at what's gonna match the overall build, what's also strong, and I'll make the curve line out of that. So I'm going to install the curve lining here. I've already measured about, where's the piece? Here it is. The piece, that will go there. It's gonna go right here. When I'm initially measuring the side of the curved lining, I'll pin it down and then I'll just kind of work my fingers up, see about where it is, and I'll mark with a pencil the curve that I need to cut. Um, the tools I'll be using are these really high-tech clamps. Some call them closed pins. <laughs> and then I wrapped a rubber band around it and that just adds a little bit more spring and clamping pressure. So I've got like a whole bin of these. These are about 11 years old. I think I made these in 2009. So you get your money's worth for these, for these guys. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna apply some glue. kind of run it down the middle there. And then again, I use a really fancy glue spreading device. Wipe the extra on the workbench. <laughs> and then what I do is I'll clamp, or I'll use my fingers, pin down near the middle, and then I'll put the initial one on the middle make sure that the sides or the, the top part of the kerf line is level with the top. It can be like a millimeter or half a millimeter above because I'm going to level sand everything too. Um, but I try to make sure it's not like seesawed as far as this side high, this side low. Um, I want to be nice and even on both sides of this middle clamp and then I'll just kind of work my way out from there. Need to get some more rubber bands um, after 11 years not 11 years I guess it's been like 13 years the rubber bands can lose their rubbery bandness all right so that's how I do that piece one thing you want to be aware of is any glue squeeze out so um, I will let's see. so you can see there's glue squeeze out for sure. So I'm gonna let that dry for like two or three minutes. I'll set a timer and then I'll take a piece of scrap wood and I will scrape that off so it's a nice, nice and clean on the inside there. But that's kind of the process I do for all the kerf lining. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest around the soundboard, but um, that's how it works.